Why are new construction home prices skyrocketing? Hey guys, it's Dustin Oldfather from the Oldfather Group of Sotheby's International Realty and owner of Motto Mortgage and We Insure Prosperity. It may be surprising, but lumber prices are the reason that supplies are going up so dramatically for new homes. Although the reasons have changed, the prices continue to soar higher and higher, in large part due to the pandemic creating chaos throughout the markets as well as the supply chain. Numbers from the National Association of Home Builders show that since mid-April of 2020, lumber prices have gone up 130%. On average, this means about a $16,000 increase on the average uh, home cost to market. And then what we're seeing is actually builders going up as much as 70,000 on their base prices. So right now we've got a lot of pressure because you've got uh, DIY uh, projects that people are doing because they're stuck in their homes and they don't have anywhere to go. They're taking the time because they have time to build out new areas, to do additions, as well as to do outdoor areas, decking, that's putting pressure on wood. There is a increase overall in the number of transactions and purchases for real estate. There's been a historic year uh, combine that with the low interest rate environment and people cashing out to do uh, do additional projects on their home as well as purchasing new homes or buying a additional home. We're seeing that happen in, in, uh, with a lot more velocity where people are moving from New York are now buying on the eastern shore of Maryland. Obviously people from Jersey and Pennsylvania are always coming here to the beach. People in you know in downtown Annapolis are getting their place that's on the coast as well or buying that oceanside property and so there is a lot of pressure on prices for lumber and that's driving the cost to the consumer up dramatically. When you think about this, this also means that you're gonna see upward pressure on compensatory um, properties uh, that are comparable that are resale. So because there's no inventory, or relatively no inventory, interest rates are super low, you've got driving up prices on the actual replacement cost, it's gonna drive up the prices on resale as well. So you can expect to see continuing inflation in uh, real estate prices across the country simply because uh, of the supply chain and lumber.